What's up there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. All right, guys, I got another wild one for you guys. This is from, uh, this was fresh out yesterday on the 8th from NASA. Um, found some wild anomalies in this, guys. Um, and they look more modern than some of the things I've seen in the past. And this is like, boom, right there in your face kind of thing. Well, not really, because they try to hide it, but that's another story. <laughs> We're used to that. Um... Uh, and this, this was, I was actually going to make this video yesterday, and I actually had it queued up, ready to go, and then I had some company come over, so I had to put it on the back burner until today. So we're going to do it. But let me make a point real quick. I had some people t uh, lately through my inbox as well as on my regular comments. Uh, in fact, my buddy Stu put uh, some comments on there. He's like a hardcore skeptic, and that's the people I want here on my channel. Um, and Because here's the thing, guys. If you're a viewer or, or a subscriber, I'm not here to convince you of a thing. I just simply find these pictures, look them over. If I see something, here it is, guys. This is what I think it is or whatever. You guys, I'll throw it out there. You guys tell me you can either run with it or crap on it. It's, it doesn't matter to me. I just want to make it available to you so you can make your own decisions. But I had some people lately ask me on uh, through my inbox as well as uh, my buddy Stu there. He put on there because uh, two days ago I had a video called Stone Hand, uh, Stonehead rather, um, and Vehicles on Mars. And I said, skeptics wanted. And he basically said, yeah, well, you want a skeptic, I've, here you go. And he said, everything's fake. Or I'm going to say he or she, because I'm not sure if it's a he or she. Um, but I believe it's a he. Anyway, th that's not the point, because there's other people have asked me too. Um, and he said, basically, you know, it's it's pictures of here of, of Earth. And this is this you're doctoring up of there to hide their mistakes or what they're actually doing. Are they right? It's a 50-50 shot, guys. I can't, it's not like I can go, hey, let me go behind their back and I'm going to go up on Mars and see if that's, if they're pulling our leg or not. I can't tell you that. But I personally believe we're on Mars. There's too many things that are buried in the dirt, um, especially things that are metal. I mean, think about that today. I mean, metal is a big commodity here on Earth. I mean, you know, we recycle just about everything except for trash like cans and stuff like that. But as far as anything, iron or uh, vehicles or anything. And if it's anything that's got to do with the military, you know, whether it be helos or heli meaning helicopters or um, uh, planes or anything, they just put them in a giant boneyard and they just, you know, pick at them and strip them down, you know, when they need the pots. But anyway, I've had people ask me, do you believe this stuff is real? Do you think we are on Mars? Yes. I absolutely believe we're on Mars. But are they lying to us? Yes. No doubt, unequivocally, yes. But it, I want you guys to understand something, and this is, this is not to convince you. This is just to open your minds a little bit. It is not a Mars thing. Now, I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. What I mean is simply this. Before our rovers, and that means the opportunity, you know, uh, you know, uh, the other one there, I forgot what off the top of my head, but, um, you know, Curiosity. Before these three even went up there, we've had other, you know, flybys in the 70s and 60s. Um, all kinds of things, but let's put Mars aside just for a moment. It's not a Mars. It's a, it's a. Hey, there's more than just us out there. Um, there's other beings out there, but we're gonna hide you, kind of thing. What about the pictures from our own moon? I mean, you know, go back. I mean, look. If you if you guys know my videos, you know I don't just cover Mars. I cover I cover uh, uh, Saturn, its moons. I think it's Titan. Um, I've got one or two of those of Titan. Uh, the Mars moons, both Phobos and Diamas. It only has two moons. Um, you know, most people, there's a lot of uh, uh, talk about Phobos being a spacecraft. Um, but let me ask you guys a question. It's easy to fake the terrain of Mars to, you know, if it's really from Earth. And I get that. Absolutely truth. It's the truth. They could fake this easily. What about moons, comets? You go to my Hartley 2 comet, and, and I put on there, um, uh, comet or spaceship. Go check that video out. I mean, I analyze this thing. It looks like a spacecraft. And there's things on it that actually blur out. So are they taking this stuff from Earth and just pasting them on there only to just take them out? To just, uh, you know, simply erase them or blot them out? It doesn't make sense to me, guys. You know, you got to think of this in a in a rational kind of sense. you got to look at it as a whole. The whole is, like I said, you are on a need-to-know basis, just like I am. There is, you know, uh, it's not just a Mars thing. Like I said, our moon. Uh, uh, 
I mean, yeah, I mean, just look at any pl planet in our solar system or any body because you've got comets that come through here and you've got the moons and you've got everything else. Uh, I mean, just look this stuff over. Look at my videos. It's not just a Mars. So, you know, um, you know, a lot of people say, well, that's absolutely fake. They could very well be right. But I, I, I don't find that. It doesn't make sense as far as when it comes to the moon. There's a lot of anomalies on there. There's structures. There's spacecraft. I, I just did one not too long ago uh, on the Copernicus Crater. Look that one over. That was like a few days ago. There's spaceships sitting right on it or some kind of modern structures. Call them what you will. Um, like I said, you can call it a trash can for all I can, but what's it doing on, on the moon? And you, can, and you know this is not something we put there. Um, so it's, again, it's not a Mars thing, guys. It's, it's a... It's a it's a, you know, there's a lot more to just us in this universe kind of thing. So, um, anyway, let me show you what I found. This is uh, this was from the 8th, which is yesterday. And you're going to see this. And they're good about this, guys. you like this. Um, this one right here, and this is basically like wheels all over the place as far as Curiosity's wheels. Um, which is kind of cool because I like to see, um, you know, I'm a big, um, like I said, I've been a tool setter now for... Uh, 14, 15 years. So anything mechanical I like, and you know, um, and of course electronic because you got PNT, PNP sensors and NPNs and all kinds of servos and you name it, that's there. But um, you know, this is what I find. What I found right off the bat. This is what I was trying to right off the bat. This stuck out to me, and it, it looks like some kind of casing. Um, because see how it's like it's just well, this is in the way. This looks like a like a lion face. I don't know if you guys can see that, but look at it. Like, like, it looks like it's kind of squared out eyes. It looks like it's got a pupil in this one. It looks like it's got a nose. And it looks like it actually can see the nostrils. And they kind of emphasize, like, almost trying to make a 3D thing, like the nose sticking out. And it looks like it's got a mouth to it. Heck, we can even call this one of the paws. I don't know. I'm, I don't even know if that's even related. But it looks like some kind of little, like, carving. Like, trying to make it look like a lion or a tiger kind of thing. But I saw that after this. See this right here? How is it, like, encased? It looks like some kind of crusted encasement or something. I don't know what that is, but it's there. Um, let me see. This rock here, look at the way it's, like, off the ground. And just got a shadow under it. This may be something that's in the ground. It looks like it's got some kind of shape or something right here. Um, you know, it might be just something in the ground. It's just crusted over. I don't know. Um, this right here. At first, I thought this is a rock going this way. But that may be a shadow coming from one of the openings. See, like the opening here in the, the wheel? Okay, but if even if it's not, let's just totally take that right off. But what about right here? It's got corners to it. See it? Nicely shaped and smoothed out. I don't know. There's some other stuff in here. But it's really kind of, uh, you just barely can't see that. There's something right here. There's some kind of weird V'd out shape rock. Okay. Um... Let me see. Like I said, that looks like some kind of like lion kind of thing going on. Okay. This right here was kind of strange too. See the way it's got this little comes up and then goes down? See that? And you can see a line or something. I don't know if it's like a piece of another get again, piece of casing, crusted sheet metal, call it what you will. Um and then I went back here and it just, just blew my mind. And because here's the thing, I'm looking all over this thing. Alright, I'm looking right here. Like, you can look over the, the wheel over here. You can see all the mountain here. Um, here's another thing that kind of... Look at the look at the pattern in here. Now, I thought maybe this is the wheels. Maybe it's been over there, but I don't see any of the wheel marks in here. Like, in other words, it just rolled over these rocks and ended up over here. Um, because I'm looking right here, and I can see this right here come down. It gets thick right here, and it goes over in a, in a thinner area right, right there. And I'm not seeing this in here. I, now, this is like this section here, and then it goes to this pattern. And I believe it's like on the opposite side too. I'm not entirely sure, but it might be just this one area here, and the rest of it's this pattern here. And I'm going, okay, oval, kind of a square. See, I like this is kind of a smooth out, and then you get the smaller one. I'm thinking, well, that could be because there's a thicker pot, and there's a smaller pot. See it? Okay. But I'm looking right here now. Why would this go like this, and then gets wider right here, come down, and then go to a thinner piece? That's not a pattern here on this wheel. So I don't know, man. I'm just it kind of blew my mind. I'm looking at this, and it's just sticking out. This here, I don't know what this is. It's some kind of casing to something. See it? Goes around, comes down, and it looks like there's an inner pot to it. And it goes up, goes across, goes down, and it goes, goes across. And then there's something right here, like a, some kind of box 
And all you see is the corner of it. It may be in the ground here, and it just runs along right over here. So that just kind of blew my mind. You know, so I thought that was a little unique. And then I looked right here and said, what kind of rock looks like this? I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not seeing this. And this is what I mean by, is this really, uh, again, keep those other two questions in your mind. Is this something you see on Earth? And uh, why is it buried? Because you're going to see in a minute that's a little funkier than it looks. I mean, it, it's pretty neat. There's something right here. I looked at them saying, what's up with these lines? I'm looking right here. And there's something, and there's something right there. And I can see something shadowed right here. Now, I don't know if this is a manipulation on their part, meaning they just really put the contrast up so that you know, or just try to make it brighter. But it is darker under here, so in all fairness, it's going to be lighter out there. That's just common sense. Um, but there's something way back in here. And there's something right there I can't make out. It looks like there's something... It's hard to say. It's just over this hilltop. But, okay. So, let me jump out of this one. And and this is where you can get this picture. I'll show you right here. Um, again, this was right here. Uh, 46. Okay. Um, and you can look at any of these pictures. You can see 12, 8, 20, 13. I just went down here, right to this middle picture right here. Okay, and we'll go, go on the full res. Okay. Um, and like I said, you can just look right here and... I'm just looking at these different things. I'm going, something stands out to me. It just doesn't look right. Uh, but anyway, so that's where you can find it. And, you know, as always, you know, I'll make sure you guys got the link and, uh, you know, in the description. Um, now let me jump over to here. All right. Now, for all these guys that like to use the uh, magnifier, I want to. you can pause it right here and check this out right now. Um, keep an eye on this area here. This is what I want you to keep an eye on, and, and all the background. So a little bit of the foreground you can look at, like that little, what looked like a carved out tiger face kind of thing. This right here, and all in the back there. That's what I got, want you guys to concentrate on. Okay. Let me do this. Let me bring this up. All right. Now I'm going to do the brightness, but here's the problem. The reason why I wanted you guys to check this out first is because when I hit the brightness, I mean, this is going to go dark. So this is, so really look at this piece here so you can pause it. Look at that, because as soon as I hit the brightening contrast, there's a reason why I'm doing this, because I want the stuff in the background here to pop. Because they, like I said, they went out of their way to really block this stuff. Oh, okay. Well, again, it may be just the lighting, too. But So, you're going to see this go black right now. Okay. But see the way the shape of it is? It's, like, almost perfect. But you can still see that little lion's face right there, so you can just zoom into that. And even though it's darker, you can still see it. It looks like, see how it looks like there's a Looks like some kind of nose or something like that. Now you can see this pops out a little bit better too. These patterns. See how like it's nice and thin right here and then boom, it breaks out thicker and then comes back out of here. It's not a wheel. Uh, see how it's like see how like nothing really stands out? They just put this glaze over it kind of thing. Now look at everything just kind of pops. Now that's the funkiest rock I've ever seen right here. And so is in this weird pattern in here. See it? It's like rounded. You'll see that a lot better in a second. Okay. So I'm going to back out. I'll go back to the 50%. I'm going to blur it up a little bit and then reshop it. Now, again, you guys can pause it, check this thing out. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom back in. All right. It's 200% I'm zoomed in. Now, I can do this. Let me go back to 100%. Okay. Now, you guys can, if you want, you can pause it here. Maybe it's better to see it. I looked through somewhere around three to 400 as usual on the magnification, on the magnifier. You might have to go down a hair bit lower, maybe around 300 when it's when I'm 100% zoomed in. So, um, okay, let me invert it now. And this is where stuff starts to get a little wilder, because now you're starting to bring out what it's been hidden. Because think about it, all light when you invert, what happens? Everything gets dark. This is where you see greater detail, and this stuff is in the picture. It's not something they just ghosted out of in this particular picture. Watch. So now, here's that round thing. This looks like a domed vehicle. Like it has like a dome where the cockpit would be. Um, I'm going to zoom into that. Well, I'm going to leave it like, I'm going to let me go to 50%. For all you guys that want to um, actually check this out with a magnifier so you can pause it. Check it out. Okay, now I'm going to go back in. Okay. Like I said, I don't want you guys to miss a thing in this. I'm not making any of this up. This is in the pictures, and this is why I bring it to you guys. You guys can analyze it and run with it. Do whatever you like. Um, again, here's this piece right here, this right here, 
okay and this right here look at the how wild that looks it's just round it's perfectly round and it is something over it see like a like a it might be like some kind of i don't know hovercraft kind of thing maybe this thing's actually turned on its side and it's supposed to be flat where well, you can't see this in other words this would be facing upward um because it looks like it's got some kind of like part of the body of this thing meaning right here and goes down this might spin it might be i, I don't know i i really honestly couldn't tell you but this part blew my mind let me go back to this if you look at this right in this i call it a vehicle it's actually some kind of weird domed modern vehicle because it goes down to right about here and look at the way this is we're going to call it for argument's sake again think about what we have here on earth a grill on a car or a front end i'm not saying that's what this is i'm just saying it could be um you're going to see that's like nicely shaped i mean that's like smoother than smooth and it looks like there's two gray dots particularly in this picture and i'll i'll get out of the way here and i'll let you guys so you can analyze it a little bit better okay you can pause at any time all right i'm going to jump in back in okay and it looks like some kind of weird dome thing here and you're going to see that a little bit better when i invert okay look at the way this thing looks and this the way this goes down it's like it's it's still got these two little dots and it just comes down right about here okay desaturate look at this thing it's like boom it just pops right out okay now i'm gonna i'm gonna do this i'm gonna add a little brightness and contrast and watch what happens see how much smoother that looks look at this nice it's not you can just see whatever it is is one two right inside this thing and comes around goes up nice See how they're nice and curved to it, nice and smooth lines? Right here. I mean, it just, just goes down a little past that. This right here. It looks like some kind of bracketing or something like that. There's something over this thing. Like, maybe it's a motor that spins whatever this is. I don't know. Um, I can't tell what position this thing's in. Um, meaning, if it's upside down, it's off. It's, it's on its side, it's the top of it, the bottom. I couldn't tell you. Um, but this right here... You can see there's like opening, opening. It's like you can see like a little separation. There's something in here too. I mean, where was that other thing? It's way, way in the background. See how like it's got these weird shapes to it? Got these openings or just detail of this, whatever this is. There's something here. One, two. Something right here squared off. Or See how it's like it's got like a 3D square kind of thing. And it's just like corner, corner, end of it. Goes over to here. I don't, I don't know. But these things are not rocks, and these are modern stuff. And again, it's not like it's I, I put it there. You can still see it. Look at this, right there, right here, the dome pot, the frame of it. This piece here, it's in the picture. The only difference is because it's light, it doesn't show any detail. And by inverting it, it brings it right out. It pops right out for you. Because look, even here, I'm just brightening up, not even inverting it, you can still see this thing. It's in the picture this is in the picture they're all there okay and when you invert now suddenly this stuff really starts to pop you can see more a lot more detail that's the only difference now i'm going to back out 50 percent you guys can pause it go in there with your um, with the magnifier or whatever way you do it now i'm going to brighten and contrast it maybe it'll make it a little bit better you guys can check it out I'll even shop in it, but it might make it a little too grainy for you. But um, you can stop this at any point. Check this out for yourself. I thought this was pretty wild because this is just the latest picture that they've got. And there's something in it. It's it's insane. Um, let me see. Okay. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I mean, these don't look like rocks. They're machines. This one looks like some kind of vehicle. It's just too perfect. It's just like... Look at like it goes across like a front end of something or back end of something. It could be anything. I don't know. I don't know if they put this rock or this weird crusty looking whatever this is here to block out the side of it to give you this impression it's a rock. I don't know. Um, at this point, there's no way of knowing. Um, but like I said, look at it's just this weird. I mean, it's too round. It just I don't know. Um, but it's something I saw in this and I just it just really popped out of me. I mean, look at this things just sticking down here. It's got this weird shape to it here. Okay, this weird frame to this thing. Now, again, ask yourself this question. If this is, and of course it's a huge if, if these are machines or vehicles, call them what you like, and they were on Earth, first of all, would it be on Earth? And why would we go out of the way to bury something like that? 
That's what I'm saying. That's why, I mean, I wrestle with this all the time because I want to find the truth just like anybody else does. I'm not here to convince. I'm just here to say, hey, this is it. What do you guys think? Because I'm puzzled. I want to know what it is. So, you know, uh, it's as simple as that. Um, this thing was, I mean, heck, I can back this thing out. I mean, it was just kind of funny because I, when I saw these wheels and I'm just looking at the pack, pack here, you can just see this has all been manipulated, these wannabe mountains, um, which I still believe is, yeah, I believe that's his mount shop. Um, because that's where we're all over this area now. We're ready to make a trek into it. Now, whether, I don't think you're going to see much of anything as far as pitches. You're going to see more, I'm going to use the word cartoonish pitches more than anything. But if they keep showing pitches like this, I'm all right with this. Because look, I mean, it's right there. You can see these things. Now, keep in mind, guys, you might say, well, these are really tiny. What you see, no, no. Because this is 50%. And this is, let me go back to the normal picture. This is stuff is way off in the distance. Keep in mind, this camera is like looking underneath. It's on the underbelly of this thing. Uh, or if it was on the arm. I think it's on the arm and so, something like that. But anyway, the way they made this, everything looks up close. So anything in the distance is going to be way in the distance. Um, so this stuff is actually pretty large. Um, I don't mean super large. Let's say this thing is here maybe half to three quarters the size of this rover. Um, but it's there. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's there. So... And like I said, I mean, that's the whole purpose of my videos, guys, to just try to get the truth out. And if there's something in the pictures and there's something they're hiding from, I don't want them to hide it. I want to see it. Because I don't know about you guys, but just the idea of something on Mars, think about that a minute. It opens up a whole new... It's hard to get your mind to wrap around this thing, because think about it. We've always been told, one, we're the only ones here. There couldn't possibly be life anywhere else. And now we're going to Mars, and no, there can't be anything there. It's a cold and desolate uh, planet. It may be now... But I don't believe it was at one point, and even they're saying now they don't believe it was. They believe it had some life, and it might have been just like Earth. I believe in the theory of panspermia, which is uh, there was a thriving planet, probably well ahead of us as far as uh, technology, and they just had a major, I don't know, maybe they had a comet or uh, an asteroid or something hit the planet, totally took their atmosphere away, but the, uh, any rock and debris went into the atmosphere and ended up here on our planet, and this is how life started here. I don't know. Um... But it's hard to tell. And if that's true, then we're seeing stuff from our real ancient ancestors um, from another planet. Is it all true? It's just uh, just my thoughts. I'm not saying everybody's going to believe that. I'm just saying that that's a very good possibility. So um, <clears throat> anyway, that's it right there, guys. Uh, tell me what you think, as always. You know, whether you're, you know, if you're, a, you know, just a viewer, you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. Check out my other videos. You just, you know... Um, I try to find the truth. I try to find hidden things that they're trying to hide from us. Uh, I don't know how many pictures I go over on, in a day. Because I work at night, so i got the daytime to do this. Um, but, you know, and I don't do this all day. But, I mean, this, I mean, heck, I might look at five to ten pictures a day. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot. But when you take these pictures apart and you start looking at oh, every little tiny detail. Because, like I said, I mean, you could look at these and, like I said, there's like little things here. Just go over every little inch of these and you can just see some funky things in here. These little rocks, the little stone face, uh, this what looks like a casing that's crusted over. Uh, a casing of what, I don't know. But And then when you see this up here, I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And you might go through a picture, don't find a thing. That's fine, move on and get to a next one. But it's time consuming, and to try to bring these anomalies out, I, I like doing it. I love this stuff, because if it's actually true that there's, there was life on Mars, man, I don't know about you guys, but I feel a whole lot bigger than just a little old puny little Earth. So, and again, that's just my views and just the way I feel. And nobody has to feel that way too. But anyway, hey guys, give this thing a look. Tell me what you think. I figured that was the latest one yesterday. It was the 8th. Here it was, fresh off the press, so to speak. Um, they just added to the gallery. I don't believe it was just downloaded or just sent to us from the rover and it was instantly put on there because they got to do their thing to it, so to speak. And if, because you know this is not, this doesn't make sense back here. I, I don't know how to explain that. Maybe just so light that you don't see it, but you just see it a whole lot better this way. So, you know, as far as the stuff in the back, you can see that nice and plain as day as far as detail and everything now. So, that's it. You know, let me know what you guys think. Like I said, if you, um, if you're not a subscriber and you, uh, you know, just subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. Give me some thumbs up. Check out my videos. Uh, like I said, that's what this channel is all about. Just to show you what they may be hiding and stuff not there that's hiding and not being hidden. In other words, right there in your face kind of things. I've got, like I said, some um, 
videos with like stones, carved stones, stuff just uh, right there in your face. I mean, it, it's undeniable. So even if you've seen just stones on this planet, you know there was at least ancient man. Um, at least you can agree on that. So um, right off the bat, it blows that theory out of the water that nothing lived on Mars. Well, see, well, like I said, now they're starting to change their way they're, they're talking. And, well, there could have been. And there's a good chance because there's water underground. There's 2% per whatever, how much of dirt uh, under the sand and blah, 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 and so on and so forth. So, I don't know. Maybe they're just slowly working into it because they know this stuff's getting out. And maybe they're just slowly saying, okay, yeah, we'll just give them a little tidbit of information here and there. And there you go. So, anyway, with that, guys, I think I'm going to have another video coming out today as well. Another one. But, um... As always, let me know what you guys think. Throw a comment down below. As always, you know, I love you guys. You know, you're my subscribers. This is the reason why this channel stays the way it does. Uh, I want to bring it out, bring the truth, analyze it, whether it's faked, it's not, it's added, it's not. That's what this channel is all about. With that, I'm going to let you guys go. As always, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I will see you next pick.